Hi, Arik here from Cycle Maintenance Academy. Today I would like to show you how to replace a spoke. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Okay, if you're ready, then let's begin. Spokes are an integral part of a wheel. We suggest that you watch our video about spokes here first to find out which type to choose and how to measure the correct length. Spokes cross over each other to create triangular patterns offering a strong, lightweight structure. There are four cross spoke patterns. Zero cross or radial. These are not strong as other wheels and only found on the front. They give a slight aerodynamic advantage and are lighter as they use the shortest spokes. One cross. Each spoke crosses over or under one spoke. Any wheel with a small gap between the diameter of the rim and the diameter of the hub, such as on some hub motor electric bikes or small children's bikes, will use less crossings, putting minimal strain on the spokes. Two cross. Each spoke crosses over or under two spokes. Used on some performance wheels, they offer similar strength to the wheels with more spokes and save weight. However, they need to be regularly tensioned. 3 cross. Each spoke crosses over and under 3 spokes. The most common lacing offering strength and the right combination of flexibility and rigidity. Preparation. In our example, we are replacing a spoke on a 3 cross pattern wheel. Take off the wheel. Removing the wheel will make the job easier. Remove the tyre and tube. We've made a video here if you need a help with this task. This will give you the access to the inside of the rim. Detach the rim tape that covers the spoke holes. Take off the cassette or freewheel. Follow our guidance here if you're new to this task. This will allow better access to the spoke holes in a hub. If you have a wheel with a disc rotor, remove it as well. Not sure how to do this? Click on the video here. Next, remove the broken spoke. Fitting the spoke. Put a small amount of cycle oil onto the thread of the spoke. The spoke is fitted by passing the threaded end of the spoke through the hole in a hub from either the inside or the outside. If the spoke is fed through from the inside, then the bend of the spoke will be visible when looking at the hub. Feed your missing spoke through the empty hole. Find the space in the rim. This will help you to identify the direction of the spoke. It passes over the two first spokes and then goes under the final spoke. The spoke is quite flexible, so try to pass under the crossing spoke by flexing it rather than bending it. Try not to scratch the rim as it will spoil the appearance. If the spoke is fed through from the outside, then the spoke head will be visible. Feed your missing spoke through the empty hole. It needs to go above the cross on the opposite side. Because you are pushing the spoke in an angle, it might be quite hard to slide it in. You may need to flex the spoke to achieve this. Keep going, as it will eventually ease into place. Position the spoke under the first two spokes on that side. Now cross it over the final spoke. When the spoke is in place, attach the nipple. If you have a double walled rim, use something to guide the nipple into the hole and hold in place while you attach the spoke. You can use the threaded end of another spoke, a matchstick or a nipple grip. Hand tighten the nipple. Now it's time to true the wheel. If you're not sure how to do this, follow our tutorial here. If you don't do this, 
it might compromise the rigidity of the wheel. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below how you got on replacing a spoke.